<coughs> I am not ready for this in the slightest, but I won't. Let's go to let the game load. Yep, right in the basement. Go ahead and do this. I'll put up this, get my chat up. <laughs> Hopefully I sound okay. If not, oh well. Because I cannot control the volume of this game. So this is going to be fun because we're in a dark place. And I have no oil. And no tinder boxes. So... Nor do I remember any of the fucking controls. So that's jump, crouch. Oh, look, there's blood. Oh, lovely. Hey, bro, have you seen me? Bro, I was just gonna ask if you saw Leonard. You didn't have to scream at me, okay? Remember how to grab shit? Okay. How do I? Okay. Starting to remember now. Slowly starting to remember. Mr. Door, I thought I closed you. Stay close. Aaron, don't mess with my feet right now, no! <laughs> Bubby! I open the door. I close. I close the door. I'm expecting to get to shat all over in a bit. What's this? Dow, dow, no, what the fuck? Oh! Hello? Okay. Fuck, wrong button. I do this because he's starting to go a little bit crazy. Twenty second of June. 1839. It's been more than a month since my last entry. After the event inside the underground chamber in Algeria, Professor Herbert insisted I return to England. He said he didn't want to risk forfeiting the entire expedition lest I took a turn for the worse. An excessive decision, in retrospect. But I'm glad it turned out that way. I found my journal this morning in the haphazard collection of things brought home from Africa. Next to it lay the broken stone orb wrapped in cloth. I tried to assemble it, but couldn't. The pieces wouldn't fit together, as if they weren't from the same object. Could I have imagined it all? Was there ever a complete orb? I don't know, bro, was there? Daniel, chill. Chill. Hey, look, we're gonna be in the corner. Oh shit, your sanity is like gone. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have drinking that potion, you know what? Oh well.
Mr. Monster, have you seen Leonard? I, I literally like to find Leonard. Have you, have you seen Leonard? Walk on the other side, gotcha. <clears throat> Mr. Monster. I just want to know if you saw Leonard, bro. Because that's where I have to go. Okay, chill. Look, we picked up a tinder box. We'll, we'll go to a corner in a little bit and you'll be fine, okay? Hello? Give me this. No. Get, get, give me this. We're gonna, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, there. We're just gonna stand in the light for a little bit. So this guy's sanity starts to rise. Cause right now he's batshit insane. Hey, listen. And shall I? <clears throat> I know Leonard is hiding from me, the asshole. That's why I'm trying to find him. Yeah, as you guys can see, I found some oil and some tinder boxes. So, yay, Mr. Monster. Okay, you left the door open. I'm gonna close it, okay? Cool. Give, give me tinderbox. Twenty fifth of June, eighteen thirty-nine. I feel the need to continue this journey, and even though it was intended for my journey to Africa. This must be something <laughs> very important. I just know it. I've taken it upon myself to piece the orb back together, but it's been more difficult than one might think. The pieces are behaving strangely. They seem to change color, shape, and texture, but ever so slightly. Yesterday, I took careful measurements and notated any significant markings. Today, I confirmed my suspicions. They were changing. I was terrified and rushed off to see the finest geologist in London, Sir William Smith. I approached the subject with care and we discussed how rocks change form. He told me about the nature of glass, how it eventually collapses on itself, like ice slowly melting over the course of centuries. Smith eased my mind a bit, but I can't escape the feeling that these shards have otherworldly properties. Get up. Get get up. Get up. Get up. You're fine. <clears throat> this motherfucker just collapsed. You are completely fine, you bitch. There, see, we're in here with chairs and shit. What the fuck was that? Of course he's not fine. He's literally told by his old self to kill an old dude. If the chair attacks, that's blasphemy against the king. Progress. Shut up. Put this in the way. There you go. I made an effort to block it, guys. We're okay.
Oh, fuck yeah. Okay, we're good now. Hell yeah. <coughs> okay. I remember correctly. No. Go. Can I? Okay. I need box. We're gonna get a box. Put the box down. We're not gonna open anything yet, though, because I want to look around first. I have a box, guys. It's not Leonard. We need we need to find Leonard. This adventure is not complete without Leonard. Oh my god, I got more Tinder boxes. Uh, hold up real quick. I'm not gonna be able to get it still. Am I really gonna have to use a barrel? I don't wanna use a barrel. Ugh, fine, I'll use a barrel. Place the barrel there. Put the box in the place of the barrel. Don't make noise. Noise is bad. Never mind, I need the box to set up on top of the fucking barrel. Eh. Eh. Okay, can I uh, oh oh yeah It's so gonna fucking come after me when I open this thing. It's gonna be like hi how you doing? You there? I'm gonna turn this off so I don't waste all the oil. I should actually go fill up before I open that thing. Good progress. Maximize potential. There we go. Lantern is completely full. I now have- oh, not completely full, but mostly full. And I have five tinder boxes. We're gonna die. Okay, here we go. It doesn't want to open up more than that. Oh, it's gonna hurt. Ooh. Yuck. No, oh, you're good. Chill. Chill. You's good. the disgusting red goop. What's it Yes. Cellar archives. <coughs> he crashed to the surface. The dark Atlantic water smothered him as he struggled to make sense of the situation. Fuck no, I know what's here. No! No! Ah, oh, fuck you! No! Shit! Ah! Oh, no! Fuck! I am not prepared for this. Stop making gargle sounds, you fucker. I know you're right there. Ugh. I'm actually mostly going into this blind. Okay. I am not- This is a really bad thing to come back to. 
After not playing the game since December. Oh my god. Well, the thing is, I have to try and think, get into there to try and find shit, and you're not supposed to touch the water. Well, you can't touch the water to lure him away, but he hurts a lot. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Behave. I'm making you sound good. Can't grab that box. Ugh. I'm not mentally prepared for this today. God damn it, why did I feel like I'm gonna do this? Right. YOLO! <laughs> Unfortunately, it's right there, so I can't even go to that one. And I forgot how to run. Just letting you guys know that. I don't remember how to run in this game. I should probably Google that real quick before I continue this section, shouldn't I? So I don't get fucked. You know what we're gonna pause that, because you says that says loud in my damn ear. Um Hey, okay, how to run. Run, 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 run. Sprint! Left trigger! Bet! <laughs> ah. Excuse. So prepare to see me die. Do I have like a torso or something I can toss yet? No? I try and book it for that room. I'm not ready for this. But you know what? YOLO! <laughs> not today, Satan! Or did he just give up? <sighs> Stop gargling, you piece of shit. I love you. What should I call you? I don't know what I'm gonna call you. I need to call him something. Cause I call the main thing Mr. Monster. And then I have Leonard. So what should I call the water monster? Yeah, give me a name, I don't, I don't care. Mr. Bubbles. Bad. Stop gargling Mr. Bubbles. Oh, don't tell me. I'm standing here on purpose. You're timed, aren't you? Going on for a while. I don't ever trust fucking lovers in these kind of levels. You are timed. Okay. So I guess first things first is figure out where the fuck I gotta go. Mr. Bubbles, stop being rude. I need to go that way. Stop it. No. Stop being rude. Stop. I have nothing to fucking throw to distract him right now. <clears throat> See, this is times that I need Leonard. So I can just sacrifice him. Oh, I have a Bible. 
Um, I gotta think about the smart. By smart, I mean stupid. Yeet. Mr. Boss! I do not want a hug. <laughs> Pretty much, Sin. So the door is either that way or that way. My guess is that way, because that's the longer route, and it hates me. I should have brought a book. You know what, Mr. Bubbles, I love you, but I'm not really enjoying the party right now. I'm really not. There's like not enough festivity stuff to do. So I, I, I might check out early. Ooh. Ooh. I'm a spell. Oh, you're starting to go insane now, you piece of shit. I don't need you to start going insane. Oh, how close Insane because he can't get me from here. He's just standing right there. <laughs> 30 minutes in, I did not expect to have to fight this thing or face this thing yet. <laughs> to be or not to be. Go, cha go chase Sick Cheeks for Your damn sanity right now. We do not need you to go insane, god damn it. Not in this area. Okay, I'm gonna have to be really fucking grass. Whoo! Bears X pays off. Okay, so that's where the door is. Here's Edge for the win, y'all. Great game series. Teaches you a lot. I'm over there, Mr. Bubble. Here I can throw? Yes, I have a book here I can throw. Come on, be fine. Alright, y'all. We're getting ready to die. So, let's have some fun with it. Get 
that's a piece of shit. <laughs> okay. Ooh. <laughs> okay, we're past uh Honestly though. He's just cranky. Ooh. Oh. Here, have a leg. Fucking precise with this. Yeet. Eat the torso. No, 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 stay over there. Stay over there. to the bottom just to down on you. Fuck you. Don't touch me. I'm out in the water. That would be illegal. Sir. No, don't growl. That is illegal. Everything about you, Mr. Bubbles, is illegal, but I still love you anyway. <laughs> no, bad. Being a little pussy right now, or a little bitch, but you know, let me do it. Don't. Bad. I will slap you. And I grab this last one. Kitten, give me cut the box. Oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. So I gotta get it to that door, I'm assuming? Put that lever over there, I'm pretty sure. Cause there's nothing on that wall that I can see but just red shit. How's my sanity? Slight headache, okay. I'm being very careful because I do not like- I don't want to mess with Mr. Bubble. I'll talk shit to him, but I don't want to fight him. But kick my ass into next week. Torso. Okay, I can distract him. I don't care if Mr. Bubbles wants to taste me. He's not gonna taste me. No, 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 no. Oh, God, please, no, don't flip. Not this close. We're right there. I could risk it and run, but, you know, I'm gonna be a little baby bitch. Mr. Bubbles has... Send my other box. Fuck. I think I just made a mistake. You son of a bitch! Oh, I hate you! <coughs> I hate Mr. Bubbles right now. Oh, that was just so rude. Okay. I'm gonna channel my inner stupidity. I'm not mentally prepared to do this. But I gotta get that, toss it that way. Gotta pull that, run through there, get onto something else, because there's another Mr. Bubbles. No! 
Going. Leave me alone. Uh, I know I could have just gone with him over there, but you know what? It's okay. Ugh. He was so rude for hitting my box like that. That completely uncalled for. Okay, this is going to be easy. No, you don't, Mr. Bubbles. You ain't getting me today. Not today, Satan. You just smack my box again. Did you? Did you smack my box again? It's the bubbles. Alright, fine. We're gonna make a bitch run for it. Let's go. Oh, instant regret. Instant regret. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, oh. No, get on the box, you bitch. Woo, okay. Okay, I regret that decision, but you know what, we're here now. Is there anything over there I need? Yes, there's a paper. Never mind, it's a hollow needle. That hurt. Good sir. Looking after... Oh yeah, I know that. Monsters usually tend to drain your sanity really quick. Like, it warns you in the beginning of the game that uh, staring at things too long will make your sanity drop. But, you know, I do it anyway because I'm a dumbass. And I'm used to just staring the enemies in the face. I have to lockpick? What? Is that why I got the hollow needle? Son of a bitch. Okay, let's get over here. Progress! Let's go. Archive tunnels. Something large rushed against his leg and he felt himself again dragged along by the current of the beast. Push yourself above the water, help he cried as the ocean swallowed him again. Fuck you, Mr. Bubbles. I just want to find Leonard. No more. No more Mr. Bubbles. I don't want to play with Mr. Bubbles anymore. How's my sanity? No more? Yes, no.
us run in this area. I <laughs> the top of the place. <laughs> Ow! Mr. I'm trying to laugh. I'm to be fine. to be in a hurry. Ooh, being hoisted out of the ocean. The locker to fall up as says. Estonia, go in the screen below. The red sun is on. Turn aside to come out. Reaching towards the coast. Scorching one thought. This is another dream. Whew! Am I done with Mr. B I am done with Mr. Bubbles. Oh my god. My heart hurt. Whew. Yeah. Mr. Bubbles is beat. For now. We're going into a pretty section of the castle. It's a beautiful fountain. And more bloody rose coins. See that too, bro? Saw that too. Dramatic music change. I love it. Oh, lovely. Hey, hey, splash, splash, splash. Jump into it because I don't need Okay, so obviously I have to go that way. So we're going to go this way. You know, gamer logic. Go the opposite way. Question is, can we find a Leonard? I'm still on the quest to find Leonard, guys. We were separated. It's a tragedy. I mean, granted, I know I threw him through a wall, but... You know, I, I had to do it, guys. I had to make sure I could go on. He understood. Right? Wait until I see him again. I'll tell him all the adventures I had with Mr. Bubbles. Guess what? Let's go in here and check this out. Thin cold mist brushed his face and stepped outside. London weather could be cool, but it was kind of ropey he could handle. but they did a number to your room. Pardon. This thing is so gonna pop out at one point. 2nd of July, 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. More oil, yes please. I thought this was Leonard, I was about to get so happy. It's stuck due to a broken lock. Clock. It is... Yes. Oh. Oh. Someone had a nice time. Oh, good thing is there's a closet in here. Conveniently fucking placed. For me to hide in. Well, we know what's gonna happen probably in a bit. Probably once I get that crowbar and I get that piece of paper. 
have something come in here. 3rd of July, 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, recovered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? Dun, dun, dun. Is he gonna use this? Can I angle myself with this, please? The key. Please let it be here. Well, now I gotta find a key, guys. So let's close this back. There's another fucking thing to hide in. Oh, no, I gotta wait. Damn, Sin. <laughs> and yeah, Slide, they can break through the fucking doors. As you can see, he splintered the fucking door. Because I closed it. She broke it straight off his hinges. lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange.
important key is hidden in the guest room, so I still have to fucking find it. X. And yeah, that would be pretty crazy. I know there are some horror games that actually do that, and not gonna lie, I would love to play those. But then again, me being quiet is really easy. The strange letter frightened him, but it was also the only one which or offered some comfort. Oh. Was this here? This wasn't here. Okay. What are you? Study. He flipped through the book of monarchs looking for etchings and counted. Nine different kings from all over Europe had been depicted with an orb resting in their hands. Green hue. Lovely. Let's do the stereotypical horror movie mock. Tinderbox. Oh look, there's Stefano. Found Stefano, guys. Pete should be happy. But I still haven't found Leonard. Okay, so this thing is like some place I can just run to if I desperately need to. There's not even a document here or anything for me to read. like uh, baying dogs to uh, soothe the children. So. To my most trusted student and friend, so that's Joanne, whatever, Jay Ware, the most remarkable thing happened as I was traveling through the Parisian woods this summer. I finally found one of the orbs I've been looking for the past, for the last 20 odd years, goddamn. It is an explicable as the Heliodromus described it in the quarters. <laughs> Big words, why it's too early. <sighs> it was as told about an underground Mithraic temple crowned with the unearthly artifacts. It was big enough to fill my cupped hands, and the texture was smooth and jagged. Its color washed while rich. Contrast is not enough to describe its nature. It was an impossibly impossibility. An artificial paradox captured within stone. I was staying in a nearby village called Altstad, investigating one of the antiquated trails when I finally found the cavern. I went inside and suddenly I could verify the truth of these enigmatic artifacts. They were real. I don't know if it actually had more or if that was it. No, there was. As you can understand, this is the most important discovery of my life, but it has also become my greatest fear. As I entered an underground chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing. 
Because of my curiosity, I did my best to fight these instincts and fetch the orb from its place. I scrambled out of the chamber and into the woods. I can sense something was following me. It bayed loudly as it closed in. The beast, this guardian of the orb, was relentless in its pursuit. I made my way away to a nearby ravine, where I stumbled upon some men fishing in the lake. I tried to warn them as I passed, but fortunately they were... They remained as I continued my escape. When I heard their cry of pain echo through the valley, I felt such a tremendous sense of relief, thinking I would be spared. Suddenly, a blue shimmering light engulfed me and the colors of the forest were washed away before my eyes. I kept running through the bleak surroundings. The trees had turned charcoal black with the leaves of cinder, the ground covered in murky water. I pressed on through the drenched land as the glowing ember gave way to the rising wind and rained on me. I could hear pleading screams in the distance, and I joined in as pain and fear overtook me. I fell to the ground, gasping for air. This certainly must sound strange, but I had been carried miles away across the Alps to a grassy field outside Genoa. The guardian had taken the orb from me, but still until this day I fear its return. Sometimes I lay awake at night listening for the howling cry I heard in the forest. It has been nearly a decade since that day, and I still haven't been able to write about the incident. The last time we spoke, you told me about your interest in ongoing research into the into the mythic orbs, and I realized I owe you the truth about my visit to Altstad. Your friend and mentor, Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. Wow. And then the door breaks open. That's my sanity. Still good. Squeak. Oil conveniently placed at a window. <laughs> it's gonna do that to me, isn't it? Oh look. A dog statue. How lovely. Oh look, a deadly hammer. Chambers of human skull. Oh look, a dog head. He killed dogs while they were still alive. Animal experiment. After a short study, it is clear the agitation found among humans can be found in the dog. Fear and pain induce stress, which seems to trigger an indigenous response, causing the animal to burst with energy. I believe that the catalyst is produced in the brain. It is difficult to determine exactly where and what it is, but I can sense it. It reeks of cosmic genesis. There is an inherent problem with harvesting this energy since the creature is bound to die from the exercise. I must refine this process of torture to enable any real work to be done. More experiments must be performed, but it seems that only human beings are able to produce the amount necessary. It might be their ability to appreciate the severity of the process that ultimately augments their experience of terror. Okay, but I'm gonna borrow your hammer real quick. Okay, okay, we can take this one that's not covered in dog blood. Ha! And because I want this tinder. Can I grab it and not fall? Oh no. Okay. 
So we're gonna go back inside and we're gonna continue looking around before I have to go down that path. Italian Greyhound, huh? Huh. Oh look, Frankenstein. Dog form. And a pigeon. Hello? Aren't you a sexy looking man? That's something I have to grab, so we're gonna grab that last. Mannequin. With a dick. Skulls. How lovely. Give me the tinder. <laughs> Another mannequin with a tiny dick. I guess you guys just really love tiny dick mannequins. Sixteen fifty eight, January ninth. Further disappointment, the antiquary, the anti eh, word, latest findings yielded nothing. I'm still unable to grasp the inner workings of life and its relation to the power I sensed within. I sense within it. I shall pursue more books on the subject, but I suspect it will be in vain. Since no research has been made in my particular interest, I must attempt to fill that void myself. Clearly humans emanate more of the energy I seek, but I hope animals will suffice as they will pr prove less of a hassle to acquire. In other words, you can easily get them without having to cause any concern from the local people. Because who's going to care if suddenly a pack of dogs was missing? Or a bird? Versus a human? Sanity, still good. Hello? Oh. Hey guys, it's a cavian. Damn. Ah! Itchy leg. Itchy leg. Itchy leg. Stop breathing. Damn, something's strong enough to actually shake the trees? Oh, now you're going insane? Fuck you. Will wanna be my turn. Have an option of strain. My patience spans centuries from where I came, mankind is not even a wasted breath, yet I bow to you. I've done so much for you, I have gained nothing in return. I forgot I trust you to it was I who in all fairness should have entered that gate. Is that literally all that is? Yeah, that's literally all that is. If the other breaks down again, make sure to use the steam engine to build up pressure before channeling it to the machinery. Just allow us to get the right amount of pressure inside the chamber. The meter should read up 8 and down 8. Make sure the flow is set according to the flow of chart. Trinity steam set functions, 4 phase amplitude, complete steam flow cycle. Note that the machine will not check 
proper configuration of all rods are inserted. Ah. So I gotta find a bunch of rods. While listening to the bayings of dogs. That are being sliced open for experiments. really nothing else in this area though is there I think I've pretty much checked everywhere cool cool story bro Okay, well, I'm leaving the study. Bye! Instantly gets fucking attacked. Sir William Smith had been marked. There was no way for him to know that the young man from the other day cast such a terrible shadow. Progress. That torso is still just chilling in front of that door. I wonder if it was there and I didn't even realize it at the beginning. Of it. So I know I have to. The fact that the door is now closed when it was open when I left it. Don't forget your bag, Daniel. I won't, Herbert. There is no shame in using a parasol in the desert. As it happens, it's imperative to your survival. But it looks ridiculous. The shade will hurt much less than dying, I assure you. For real, though. So we're gonna go this way, since that door blew open first, which means that's still the way I need to go. You know, basic rule of gamers, you never go the way you're supposed to. Not right away. Oh boy, storage room. He panted heavily, trying his best to keep himself from screaming. The medicine cabinet had been overturned and lay collapsed on the floor. He reached through the broken glass door and grabbed all the sedatives he could find. storage rooms are bad news. You're writing there in your notes there, buddy. Darkness in the storage feels strange and unnatural. I don't think I'm supposed to be here. Not yet, I mean. <laughs> oh no. Is it there? 
Did I leave? I'm not mentally prepared for this shit tonight. I mean, today, I swear to God. Well, Sly, remember, there's a monster. I wasn't kidding when I said there was a monster in this game. Alexander, I've prepared the explosives you needed for clearing the flood drain. I can't stress enough how important it is that the mixture is handled with care. Please try to tell your Featherbrain servants this before you go ahead with your plans. Liquids are not by themselves explosive and should be kept separated to avoid further mishaps. I have arranged two large vats in the next room for the ingredients. All you need is to mix the liquids and you are ready to go. I took a while to answer your questions, that way we had time. I'm really bad at conserving the light, guys. I'm sorry, but this is really fucking with my eyes. Like, this game is not good for eyesight. Hello? Don't kill me, okay? Ooh, it's a spigot? It's a hammer. Tinder box. Give me a lot of tinder boxes. I really like that. I appreciate it. I'll say that I should do this. I think so too. I just have to still be careful though. Also, if I miss something, don't hesitate to tell me, hey, turn around, you missed something. Like, if you guys happen to see something that I don't catch. Literally all that's in here is this tinderbox and a crank. I forgot how to grab. I legit forgot how to fucking grab. God damn it. Okay, hold on.
Yeah, if I remember that correctly too, I don't remember how to combine items in my inventory. I really don't. Oh, I'm missing, I think, another piece. I might be missing one more piece, and that's why. Maybe. I'm speculating at this point. You guys see anything I'm missing? Like nothing so far? Hello? Don't don't bite me yet, okay? I'm not giving you consent to, but just don't bite me. Oh, it's your part. I'm fucking stupid. All I had to do was hold X. I thought I was like push a button and do it. God damn it. I have a drill. I don't know what I'm supposed to use a drill for, but you know I have a drill. What these? Oh, there's the rest of shit. Can I just drill someone back? The monsters. Go back and drill the um Mr. Bob. Okay, so now I need to go just create the other mixture. Or find the other part, which is probably over here. Oh, okay. Here it is. Sanity. Slight headache, I'm okay. Got some fuel. Oh yeah, I actually remember reading that one. And there was a note on it. I know I'm walking slow, guys, but I'm actually crouched.
That means something's gonna come out of this one. It's a perfectly preserved door. Find a way to get through. Well, maybe if I just throw a rock at it, it'll be okay. Hey, let me throw. explosive on this or on the door I don't think I'm supposed to too close. Whoops. Well, I'm gonna be an easy kill. Lovely rotten meat. Another flint. Moldy bread. Delicious. And who doesn't want moldy bread, guys? It's the best. It's the best meal to have. Everybody knows this. Best meal besides rotting. I'm hoping it's pig carcasses. It might be dog carcasses. We don't know. To do something with the dog bodies, I guess, that he experimented on. So why not eat them? It's morbid as it is, I mean, at the end of the day, they're animals, so you know, you gotta eat. I mean, these guys clearly, uh, they had their lives together. You know, they ate dogs, uh, experimented on people and birds, uh, drinking cursed wine. They clearly know how to live their life, guys. And they have a Mr. Bubbles. Clearly you're living a life right if you have a Mr. Bubbles. I'm just saying. Nope! Nope. Mm -mm. I'm just going to be in here. <laughs> I refuse.
But why, bitch? That's the fucking monster. Screw you. <laughs> That's just one of those ones that literally just vanishes after it touches me. But then again, it might not be. It might be the one that actually hurts me. that door alone. Probably totally something I need in the machine in the fucking room that he's in, probably. Hey guys, fire hurts. Just letting you guys know, it still hurts. Ugh, I'm gonna hate it. I'm gonna go to that room. If I die, oh fucking well. I think there's something in there that I need. I could be wrong. I'm gonna throw at this box at him. I'm not prepared for this. I mean, if I die, it's my first death of the game. I'm ready for you, bitch. I'm ready for you, bitch. I'm not ready for you, bitch. Let's go. Literally all that was in here was just tinderboxes. I could have lived without tinderboxes. Something else in here at all? Seriously. Just tinderboxes. That's it. I could have just gone this entire thing and left him in here. Oh well. <clears throat> Here's a 
gods. set of three rods is unavailable there is one rod in the inner study rooms which might work in case the elevator breaks down again unless it's absolutely necessary always use the spare rods in the storage before using a mended one okay so i technically got the other one first Mr. Monster, are you there? Listen, I don't have any torsos to give you like Mr. Bubbles, but... I'm legit supposed to just run around him and get out of the storage room. That might be it. Because again, I'm kind of going... Going in this line. Music stopped. Let's go. Run, bitch, run! Ow. 
Professor Taylor was a second death caused by his damn his damned curiosity. I am now a one hit fucking kill, no matter what. Oh, this sucks. <laughs> Oh look, it looks like blood. Oh, it is blood. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, this actually looks really cool with the tins of red because of me almost dying. Yeah, everything is red because I'm also almost dead. Like literally one tiny smack and I'm dead. So you know, that's fun. I think this might be a good place to call it for this one. I might stream again uh, probably a little bit later with this as well, just to continue it. But I think we made some pretty decent progress. Dude, for real, he was. So like, but I feel we made some pretty good progress. Like, got some pieces. I'm no longer going to be blind. Thank God. Got a key to the machine room so I think for now we'll stop and we'll start up again later like I said so until then catch us later